and we've got really good conditions. Wind's about 10 to 15 miles an hour. Now it's out of the north, actually the northeast. So that's not typical. We typically have a southeast wind and that's really gonna give us all of our normal fishing zones. So when the wind clocks around like this, you really have to change your plan because your drift is gonna be different, the shorelines you can work are gonna be different, the, the bait fish are gonna get pushed up on a different shoreline. So today we're looking for three things. We're looking for moving water, the visible presence of bait fish, and birds. Birds can fly over and see things that you can't see. The visible signs of bait fish, the nervous water, the little chatty water like that, that shows there's bait fish in the area and there could be big fish in the area. Then also we're going to look at pylons as we're going by and see if we see water wrapping around that pylon showing the direction of the water and that way we have moving water. So those are three key factors today. We're fishing conditions, we're fishing uh, winter type conditions, we're going to slow down that presentation and you know some people say we're fishing, we're really hunting. So let's get out there and catch some big ones. You ready, Rich? Ready. All right. WideOpenSportsman.com Subscribe today. Roger that. Yeah, we've got a lot of technology working on our boat. This is a brand new Blue Wave Pure Bay 24 foot. The electronics that we're looking at here is a Larange 10 inch with structure scan. You've got the ability to change these pages just whenever you really want to. You can come down and split the screen. You can split it different ways. You can use the chart full screen. You can come down then move across. You can use sonar, traditional pattern. You can use the structure scan and put some versions of one and the other together. Pattern it the way you like it. Then you push the enter button and you've got a whole new set a way to look at things. So the bottom line is all this technology is here to help us catch fish, but it's also here to help us be more safe on the water and make sure that we don't get ourselves in a position to where we don't know where we're at and we run aground or worse, we hit some hard substructure underneath the bottom of the water. Oh, and there's more rod bending action. I tell you, man, being up on top of this Yeti, I can see a country mile. I can see the water color change. I can see the sand pockets on a sunny day, and I got rod bend in action. <laughs> Me and Rich came here for some big trout and big redfish, <laughs> and nobody told these sheepheads to leave us alone. You got that right. They're fun to catch, and we've got one that's going to be dinner. Be a good one. Oh, yeah, baby. Oh, yeah. I don't know, kind of shaking his head a little bit. I'm gonna bring it down. Kind of easy, man. Work it, hey. work it. Move know. back, just, just move back there on the floor. Oh, no. I know what it is. Got whiskers? No, he got some stripes on him, though. Oh, he's a sheepy. Another little sheep head. That's all right. We'll bring him up, a little bitty one. That's what I like about a long cast. You got an opportunity to fight the fish for a longer period of time. <laughs> Sheephead. He is off. I think I got a trout though. I don't know what I got. We'll see when we get him in. Got a little shoulder on him. Oh, like Donkey Kong, get on back out there, babe. I'm working on it. Well, let's see what we got. Oh, look at here. That's what they call a trout, a legal trout. Up and in. Look at this, Dave. Hey, good fish. Nice How trout. How taste? He tasted pretty good then. He gave you a little, little spray. A little, little spray. <laughs> nice trout. That's what we come down here for. This right here. Trout. Bath and bait style. More rod bend in action. I mean, it's winter, typical winter day. 25 mile an hour winds. Out of the southeast, typical wind direction. Rich and I are working this area. Working it serious. Hey. Head again. 
another sea pet. I don't really like to catch a fish up there. Once I get one, I come down. He's staying down. Not a massive fish. But he took it down hard and fast. There he is, Mr. Trout. Keeper Trout right there, up and in the boat. Oh yeah, baby. I don't know, he feel all right, but. Come on, Rich, get him. Uh, Maybe small. It may be one of them sheep head again, cause put him right off the rocks. Right off the rocks. Look at this. Trout. Nice trout, nice trout. Up and in the boat, there we go. Like I just told Rich, <laughs> these little fish will hang around. <laughs> Actually, it was Rich telling me that. <laughs> these, these little fish will hang around the big fish. <laughs> and I told him, hey, you know, we need to make a move. You know, we're not getting the fish we want. And, uh, <laughs> and then this guy comes up. I don't even think he knows he's hooked. Is he a good one? Yeah. I mean, he's shaking his head, but he's yeah, shaking. Yeah, no, he's got the mass to him. Oh, it's sheep a big head. sheep head. Big one. Yeah. Big sheep head. Oh, it's good eating right here, baby. Yep. You've seen those little sheep head we've been catching. Now, watch this. Come up to me, Tone. Here's the deal. Rich has got the net. Ooh, wee. That's a good fish. That's a big one. In the uh, net. In the net. Oh, ho, oh, oh. ho. I hooked at him. I got him. You know what? This right here is excellent, excellent eating. Oh, you, you want to see this trout, Dave? This trout, oh yeah, baby. You need the net, Rich? Hey, yep, I need the net on this one. All right, ah. all right. Oh, that's why I say take a little time. All you have to do is just move around a little bit and go, you get on them, you get on them. Oh, what we got here? What we got? Oh, look at this, baby, yeah. Five, brother. Yes! That's what we come down trout. here for. Nice trout, winter trout down here at Batham. Ah, we're at Corrales right now. Oh, good hot spot. Fishing, nothing but big rocks. Sand bottom. We're fishing right off the drop off. More nice. Nope. Right. That's what we got. 21 and a half. Going down to him. It's got a little bit. Oh no, it may be another one of them sheep here. Got some backbone? No, he's still fighting like a little one of them sheep heads. Yep, that's yep, what we is. got. Catching them right in the nose and lipping them and catching them behind the ears. Oh, just made another short move try to find this outside reef or big rocks. Oh, just threw out and boy, I got a good one. I got a head shaker here, baby. Oh, I got a head shaker. Oh, oh, Dave, he feel good. Redfish? I don't know, Dave. It feel like one. You need the net, Rich? Oh, Dave, look at this. A drum. There's some rod bending Ooh, action. Wee. Oh, that's a redfish, dog. Look at this redfish, Dave. Oh, my gosh, oversized. At, oh, yeah. Oh, boy. That's what we come down here for, though. Good fish, Rich. Yes. Come on down here. Yes. Chill out. Big fish. I just want to bring him to you. Yeah, baby. That's got some weight to him, too. Yeah, baby. There we go. Yes. Yes. In Batham Bay. Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, look at that. Come on, Dave. Hey, it's more out there. Let's get him. Oh, man. We've been working these reefs and these rocks for, what, about three hours? Yes. Finally, the big guy comes out, but we're catching sheephead and uh, trout and uh, redfish. The numbers are here. Now, the size just showed up. That's what I'm talking about. Good fish, yes. Rich. Oh, 29, a little over. Yes, boy, look at that. Look at that. Nice redfish. <laughs> you know, guys, Rich just did a magic trick. He turned a white shrimp in to a big oversized redfish. Yeah. Look at that redfish. Yes. Oh, yep, there we go. Yeah, let's go get him, Dave. 
I tell you, everything in life is technique. I like to get up on this Yeti. My head's about eight, nine feet in the air. I got a great vantage point, but I also can cast a lot farther. I put about four foot of line out, about four foot of line right here, open the bale and do an overhead cast and just send that float and line high. Oh, yes! yes! Now this, this is what we came for, man. That cork went down and I've got some math here. This is a better fish. It's a better fish. Need a little help, Dave? Yeah, yeah, I'll probably need that net. Woo wee! Good fish here. Good fish here. The trick is no slack. No slack. See what we got. There's the cork. Oh, he's got red some, fish. He's got red some fish. mass to him. Red fish. Oh, good red. Pretty. Pretty. Good red fish. Pretty. Woo -wee. Now move the rod toward the net. Yeah, baby! That's how you net a fish. Beautiful redfish. Back right down after David just got through catching his good trout. And I don't know what I got, but it's good. Oh, yeah, it's a good fish. Good fish. Yep. We own. We own. Get back out there, Dave. Catch one. Double. Come on, babe. We on fire. We on fire. Oh, a little bitty one. But guess what? It's a red. We gonna bring him up? <clears throat> Not legal, but we're in the right spot. I had to get that fish out of there. Good fish. Good fish. Good fish, Dave? Oh, yeah. Right there. Let me come up this way. Tony, get a shot of that little island that we're fishing at. That little island right there tapers off in all directions. And essentially, what's got that, man? I don't know, but it's pulling back. He's in a keeper range, I bet. He looks like it. Rich is ready here with the net. I'll show you this technique. I basically just back up on the boat <laughs> and I bring that line right into the net. That's the way you do it. Some people don't know that. And they end up, the guy's trying to net him and the fish swims away and he's trying to net him, fish swims away. Beautiful red here. Right at 21 inch. Yes, sir. Slack is the enemy. Wait, wait, right there. Oh, yeah. He's swimming toward me. My drag is good. Oh, yeah. Good fish. Got this rod all bent up. Man, these little spoil islands will hold fish big time. You gotta work the perimeter. They'll also go around the back side of those islands and break you off. Good fish. Another sheephead. Great, great eating and fun fight. The fish is re uh, really, really white meat. And because uh, they eat mainly crustaceans, an awesome, awesome fun fight. And great in the frying pan. All right. Wait a Oh, I just made a cast and he almost took it off the hall out of my head. Good, Ooh. good fish. All right. Oh, good fish. Here's what we do. Rich gets a good fish and I'm going to get positioned right where he was. Yes. Oh, <laughs> yeah, baby. Can a brother get a little help? You need help, brother? What you got? Oh, look at that. Hey, we got everything now. We got a drum. Black drum, baby. Black Ooh, drum, nice baby. Fish. Black drum. Did he take any drag? Oh, no. Rich don't give him drag. No, I don't give him drag. I don't oh, play that. Let me bring it to you. Let me. Yeah, oh, baby. <laughs> Wait a minute. Why you be messing with that fish? Get oh, excuse here. me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, look at that drum, baby. Nice. Yes. And that's an old ah, fish. Look at his tail. Look at his tail. That's an old fish. Yes. And they get to be about 50 pounds. Yes. So, and they can handle rough water, deep water, clear water, salt water. I tell you. Good job, Rich. Ah, Big fish, baby. Let's measure him up. <laughs> Guess what? Keeper. He's a keeper. <gasps> We're going to put him in now. Right there. Oh, yeah. Need the net? 
I don't know yet. Hey, buddy, oh, shaking the head. Rich is going to try to get a double. He came up out of the water, Dave. Big trout, baby? Yeah. Hey, where's my call? Anybody see my call? I'm going to put your line. Don't see no. Don't see no one around. Don't see no It's not there, Dave. Staying down. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, hold it, hold it, hold it. Hold it. Go on. Up and in. Dang! <laughs> yeah, boy! That's what I'm talking about, baby. Yeah, baby! Big trout, <laughs> bath and bay style. Me and Rich are getting hooked up. He had that big oversized redfish, and then now I get an awesome, probably 21, 22 inch trout. All right, let's measure this guy out. Right it. Just under, I should say, just under 21 inches. Yes, sir. A nice speckled trout. Wide open, outdoor adventures, bath and bay, rod bend in action, wintertime fishing. Get out there, get the kitchen pass. That's what I'm talking yes. about. Woo! Thanks for spending some time with us today on this episode of Wide Open Outdoor Adventures. I'm Dave Valtiera. Rich Gidry and I fish Baffin Bay. We fish the rocks, the barrier islands, the shorelines, the cuts, the grass lines. We showed you how we fish. Hope you learned a few things. Rich, how would you summarize the day? Oh, Dave, I'll put it like this here. We caught fish in numbers, and then we caught some big fish, we caught some small fish. Hey, but I say it was a great day. I mean, we fished just like he was talking about, barrier islands, we fished the drop off, some of the grass lines and stuff. Man, we had a fantastic day, really. I tell you, fishing structure can put you on big fish too. So I hope you learned a few things and we'll, we'll see you on the water. Of Wide Open Outdoor Adventures. Just get out there.